<clears throat> I'm Gloria Brooks, founder of Heathcote Art and Science Center, also known as HASC. Also, you can call me Nature Glow. That's what I'll be calling myself for the online classes. Welcome to my introduction. Today I just want to explain to you a little bit about myself, my background, and what brings me to do online classes. I've been in education for 14 years now. Um, I have 14 years of K through 12 education. Um, I have a bachelor's degree in education and certification from the Wilderness Awareness School. In my classes, I would like to offer nature connection first and foremost, encouraging youth and, well, the whole family to go out of doors, um, to get outside and enjoy not just the fresh air, but learn about plants and animals around them. And since my classes will be taught all over the world, um, it'll be really interesting to see uh, what families study, what plants and animals um, families are, <clears throat> or what, the, what they have available to them. So I'll be teaching skills such as finding a secret or a special spot in your own backyard, um, keeping a nature journal, um, sharing your experiences about what you see around you. I'll also have classes about uh, integrating literature, um, mathematics, writing, and arts and crafts with uh, nature-based projects. Um, so we'll be doing things like leaf printing, um, making paper, uh, going outdoors and doing nature photography. So there's a theme here, and the main theme is nature connection. Um, I'll teach students how to use a field guide. We'll be studying things like trees. Um, here's a wonderful literary story called Shanlea's Quest. Uh, it's a botany adventure for kids, and there's a card game that comes with that. So I'll probably be offering a class about that. Um, we'll be studying the connection of nature with mathematics. And there's a great book here. It's an old book from the 50s called An Adventure in Geometry. And I use that as one of my resources. We'll also be studying insects, <clears throat> learning how to use field guides to identify insects and building journals um, and plant presses. This is a special plant press of mine. Um, and I created this in 2003. And it was just local plants um, that I collected and pressed. Well, there's one butterfly in here that I have pressed as well, preserved. So that's just a little synopsis of some of the things I'll be offering to students and families. Um, these classes are multi-age. I'm also an alternative educator, which means um, I use non-traditional methods, and I believe that students are um, most excited when they are passionate about something. So I try to do student-led, project-based learning also, um, we don't do grading. I don't do grades. I won't have a grade book. There'll be no tests. Um, but families will be accumulating portfolios. And parents, if you're so inclined, can grade those portfolios if that's a necessity for the state. Um, I also encourage um, student-led type projects, and they'll be doing presentations online, which I'm sure that you're not unfamiliar with. Um, so that's, um, that's a little bit about me and what I'll be doing, and I look forward to working with you and your students. Thank you for your time.